all the projects that we visited in Switzerland, like apartment buildings felt so solid, felt so quiet. In the States, if you go live in an apartment building, you can hear the people on your left, on your right, mm. above, below you. You can hear the wind coming in through your windows. It's just such an uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. And when you go and see and experience something better, you're like, why aren't we doing it that way? It mm -hmm. doesn't make sense to be building the way we are building over here. Yeah. So I think it has a lot to do with just consumer education. I mean, another example is you pay for every square foot of your home. Why do you accept not using all of it? What do I mean? Well, good luck sitting in a cold area where I live in Minnesota. It's freezing here. Don't go near a window. Right. It's not going to be comfortable. You're not going to feel well right there. Or you wouldn't set up your kids play area there because it's just not that's not a good space. Like, why do we accept bad spaces in our homes? Right. Yeah. Shouldn't every room just be livable and comfortable? Right. So so, so for me, it, it, it was the traveling to see these different buildings, ex staying in different areas, just experience it. And, and sometimes I'm shocked. I mean, I've been I've been in very nice hotels in Boston, downtown, and you have a single glazed window. And I'm like, guys, you must be kidding me. Like, how how do you not care? How do you I mean, it's busy, it's urban, I get it. But you can put in a window, it will cost probably as much as two or three nights here. And it will just be perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. But any, anyways, so for me, this is what happens to me if I travel now and um, yeah, but then I also want to say, of course, there is kind of the perfect way and the great way to do it. Um, but I think in life, you also have to sometimes realize, okay, um, not everyone is in a position and, you know, we have to find ways around. And I think when it comes to homeowners, what's crucial, in my opinion, is that we start to talk a little bit more about what they don't see, because yes. what they don't see, they can change so easily, Right. Um, you can always switch out a countertop or, or whatever. It, it's easier to do than, okay, let's uh, add insulation to my wall or let's switch out my insulation or, you know, let's air seal or let's put in better windows. Um, yeah, I, I think but kind of like... like it's, yeah. To me, it's what I, what I say in all my videos. It's like, it's, the stuff doesn't matter. The, the, your couch that you replace every, th every three years, your countertops, the tile in your bathroom, that doesn't matter. The bones of your home mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. The air that you breathe because of the materials you use, that matters. And it's such a shame to watch all these TV shows where they only emphasize the stuff. Mm -hmm. And I hope that the influences that you you have reached out to and they we start talking more about the bones the structure the performance of things those aren't sexy topics it's the the pattern of your couch and the the paint on your walls those are sexy topics but let's talk more about the unsexy topics mm -hmm. because that's really where the worth of a home should lie not mm -hmm. on your countertops